In 2018, Hollywood couldn't stop itself from making bad choices, from trashing literary classics, to stapling potty mouths onto once beloved puppets, and turning intriguing true life figures into trivial tripe. This is the voice of the Razzies, Bill A. Jones, welcoming you to the 39th Annual Razzie Awards. David Fear of Rolling Stone Magazine wrote, at one point in this film, the winner of this category goes undercover as a manure salesman and begins screaming, horseshit for sale. It's the one genuinely honest, self-aware moment in the movie. Worst supporting actor, for Holmes and Watson, goes home with John C. Riley. Are you positive I shan't regret this in the morning? <laughs> you absolutely will. A cartoon villain brought to life leaked an anonymous White House insider. For we're supporting actress, playing herself in Fahrenheit 11.9, our voting members chose Kelly Ann Conway. Always with something to spin, let's get her reaction. I don't have a reaction to that. Whips, chains, butt plugs, and nipple clamps are nothing compared to the sheer torture of watching this movie, exclaimed Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. The worst screenplay of 2018, Fifty Shades Freed. Screenplay by Niall Leonard from the novel by E.L. James. Even B-movie auteur Uva Ball could have made something funnier, fleeter, and better constructed than this, mused San Francisco Gates' Andrew Parker of our worst director winner, Eton Cohen, who also pinned Holmes and Watson. Sometimes the scene will spin into something that you just uh, didn't think was there. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! This year's winner for the Barry L. Bumstead Award for a movie that cost a lot and lost a lot is the Billionaire Boys Club, which garnered a paltry $287 for its first two days, according to The Hollywood Reporter. A closer look at the figures breaks it down to, let's see, at a national average of $9.27 per ticket, with $126 on its opening day and $161 on Saturday, that's... 31 people were scammed out of their hard-earned money by this crime drama. Now that's larceny. For worst remake, ripoff, or sequel, LarsonOnFilm.com handcuffed this trashing of a literary classic as such a crime that someone should have been arrested. The perpetrator and winner, Holmes and Watson. What have you done with Sherlock? Ah! Our next winner has set up himself, my whole life is about winning. I don't lose often. I almost never lose. I don't like losers. So not surprisingly, He's won again. The Razzie for Worst Screen Combo goes home with Donald J. Trump and his self-perpetuating pettiness, featured in both Death of a Nation and Fahrenheit 11.9. Everybody loves me. Not bad. Really. Not bad. Not bad at all. You don't beat it. You don't beat this river. Jack Horner, filmmaker. I make it. Exotic pictures. felt better in my life. You find yourself asking, did she listen to her agent or her wallet too closely? So snapped Jamie East of the London Sun about our worst actress winner for both Happy Time Murders and Life of the Party. Congratulations, Melissa McCarthy. 
Wait for it. Following up her dual Razzie winning appearances with a performance the UK Observer hailed as less of a revelation than a confirmation of her talents, the Razzie Redeemer Award winner for her more complex role in Can You Ever Forgive Me is Melissa McCarthy. I can't say that I regret any of my actions. In many ways, this has been the best time of my life. And the 2018 Razzie for Worst Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role belongs to Donald J. Trump as himself in Death of a Nation and Fahrenheit 11.9. We're sorry Mr. Trump has left the building. Accepting on his behalf is his BFF. Grüße. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to say thank you. Our final winner for 2018 caused Mark Savloff of the Austin Chronicle to claim, it's not so much a case of who done it as it is a question of why bother? At last, the mystery is solved. Our voting members found Holmes and Watson guilty as worst picture of 2018. Well done, Holmes! Oh my god! <laughs> that concludes the 39th Annual Razzie Awards. We'd like to thank our voting members worldwide and hope to see all of you around this same time next year for our gala 40th Annual Golden Raspberry Awards.